from Happy Place to Grow. Welcome to my channel. Well, I'm here at school and it's been a very busy week. It is actually the last week that we are going to be working through our hybrid model where we have a group A, a and a group B. So I've completed um, my week with my students. So Monday, Tuesday, I have group A. Wednesday, Thursday, group B. Tomorrow is Friday and it is a teacher work day. Also Monday is a teacher work day. And we are given some time to prepare for conferences. So I'll, I will be doing some conferences tomorrow and Monday and then into next week also. So what I'm doing here right now, this evening, is I am just getting ready, getting all of my um, information about my students collected in my uh, spiralies. I am typing out report cards. I have also been trying to navigate uh, Google Meet and Zoom because some of our conferences um, will be held uh, virtually. So we gave that option to parents. I'm a little nervous about it because I have not actually done a Google Meet or a Zoom for quite some time because we've had in-person instruction. I've not had to um, do those virtual meetings with my students. So I'm a little nervous about those platforms. It's been since May, you know, when we were, um, when I was with my other group of students and I was doing one per week. Now, I really like Google Meet. Um, I'm really comfortable with it. However, I think this year they have um, the free version, I think is limited to maybe 30 minutes. So when I go home this evening, I'm going to kind of play with both platforms and just see which one I'm most comfortable with. Um, so I do only have about four virtual conferences, which I was really surprised. I thought a lot of parents might want to just do it virtually. However, I only had about four, maybe five um, to sign up for virtual. So I'm, I'm excited about meeting in-house with parents. That, though, brings me to a lot of work that I have to sort through. I have to make sure I've got uh, what I need for both types of conferences. So as I'm preparing, the first thing I did was I made a schedule and my schedule is just the date. I just made a, a little form. I've got the date, the time, and then the student. And then next to the date and time, I have, if it is, I'm just covering up names, if it is a virtual conference. And you know, you would know this, that my first conference is going to be virtual in the morning. Ah, so I've got to work through some things this evening, so I'm prepared. The other thing that I was doing before I actually got all of my um, information collected is I made a Google slide show, and that is so I can present it to parents virtually. And also, I just printed it out because I'm just, I'm just like this. I like to be organized when I talk to parents and I like to stay on track. And sometimes when I'm just chatting with parents, I might, um, they might ask a question or I might get to uh, talking about something about that child and then I'll forget what, I uh, might leave something out. So when I organize what I want to say to the parents, it really helps me not forget any important information. So what I did with my little Google slideshow, and I printed it so I'd have a hard copy when I'm talking to parents in-house, in person. Uh, on slide number one, the first thing I like to talk to my parents about is reading. So I thought it would be helpful to them if I told them what kind of reading um, we are doing every day. So I just made a list, you know, we're doing small group, we're doing whole group, we have read to self time. And then after I talk about what we're working on, working through in the area of reading, I'm going to talk about assessment information. And um, we did a couple of different kinds of assessments. We had a computer generated assessment. And then I did um, a reading assessment called a running record where the students are reading to me and I am um, listening and then marking um, how they're reading. 
if they're missing words, what their fluency sounds like, um, and then asking them questions. So I'm going to be sharing all of that information with my parents so they have a really good um, grasp on what we're doing in reading and what reading looks like in first grade and then where their child fits into that. The next slide is going to um, be about math. So again, I did the same type of thing, what we're working on. You know, we have daily whole group, we have small group, and just talk to them about some of the skills we're working on. And then again, cover that assessment information. And of course I'll have my um, handy dandy notebooks right here. So I can just pull all that information right at a glance for the parents. So that will cover reading and math. And then, of course, we'll talk about writing. Now, we've just launched into writing. So what I'll do for writing for the parents, we've not had a lot of time because our schedule just didn't allow for us to um, have a lot of time writing yet. I will be pulling each student's writer's notebook to um, bring along with this spiral, and we'll just look through the, the writing they've done so far. So far, we've worked on uh, practicing our brave spelling, we've worked on making a list of writing topics, and then we've started in after we selected our first topic. So some students might have one or two words, some students have uh, a sentence, some students have several sentences. So I'll just pull each student's writing notebook. You know, you can really grab a lot of information about how a student is writing and spelling just from those little authentic pieces that they're working on. So that's what I'll, um, how I'll cover writing with them. And then the last part of the conference, I just wrote down report card. I'm gonna share and go over the sections of the report card to help them navigate uh, through the information. Well, we haven't really scored a lot for the first quarter. We've got um, a few things in reading, um, a few things in writing and spelling, and then we've got just three sections we're covering in math. So I'm going to go over the report cards, and then I put questions and comments. So the last part of the conference is just where we can have that one-to-one discussion about um, their child, if they want to ask me any questions that we haven't covered, if they want to tell me anything or I need to share something with them important, um, then we're going to cover it here. And I, what I did was I copied one of these off for each um, conference. So I'm going to make notes down here. I will have this for each um, parent that comes in and as they're asking me questions, if I need to put anything important about what we've discussed, I'll just write it here and then I'm going to stick this in my little notebook. Because last year I did do that, however I had little little sticky notes for each kid and after the conferences were over I couldn't find some of them. So this way I have one of these for each conference that I'm going to conduct. I'll write everything down have this notebook handy and just stick it in. I'm really feeling good because I feel like I'll be able to keep track of everything. And that's really important when we're having this time so that I have um, what we've discussed. I have it at a glance myself. So that's just my prep time. I think it's really important to get things together make sure that you have all of your information housed in one place however you know that works for you get it together you know pre-think each kid and think about what is really important for you to discuss because this is what i find is so true this first conference parents most parents will attend it they do want to find out about how their child is doing and they also want to um, share things with you so this may be your only chance that you get to sit down and talk with the parents. So make sure it is um, well spent. So get prepared. Think about what you need to say to them. And you know, I always like to say make a sandwich. Have on the top that first slice of bread, make it positive. In the middle, put all of um, maybe the 
heavy duty things you need to tell them, you know, things you need to talk about, skills they need to work on, maybe some behavior issues. So, so good, maybe serious, heavy, and then end and close with some positive. Always close your conferences with a, a sense of care that you have. Um, make sure that parents feel that you have heard them, that you're listening to them, and that when you're communicating information about their child, that they feel good about what you're saying. You know, some of it has to be heavy, but, but try to sandwich um, the heavy information with a positive and, and close with a positive. You know, so parents feel good about that conversation. We always want to leave the conference on a good note. So I'm going to be here for hmm, a while and I am going to get my ducks in a row because I want to make the most of this time. I'm going to prepare for all the conferences I'm going to have tomorrow, which is I actually have, I think, four scheduled. So I'm going to get all of the four spirals. I'm going to make sure those are all ready to go, have all my information. I'm going to set those um, spirals in a place that I can, uh, where I'm going to conduct my conference. I'm actually going to go to a different room so we have a long table that we can sit at and distance just a little bit. I'm not really sure how that's going to look because, you know, you have to share information. So uh, I'll keep you posted on how um, conference is going when we have to be at a little bit of a distance. That will take some navigating, I'm sure. All right. I'm going to close up with you now so that I can get back to work. I've got to staple in um, some more papers and make sure I've got report cards and my running record information ready to go. And then when I go home, <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, work through the virtual meeting platform. Uh, so wish me luck. All right, until our next time together, as always, have a good one.